Hi, I'm Ransom Stevens. This is Professor Buckley. I'm the author of The God Patent. Today, the question is, where did relativity come from? Did Einstein just think it up out of the blue? I love this question. The answer is no. Relativity came about the same way as most other scientific discoveries. In the late 19th century, it seemed that physics was finished, all wrapped up. Newton had solved gravity the century before, and electromagnetism had been reduced to four convenient equations. There were just a few details left to work out. Relativity emerged from those details. So let's take a look at one of them. One that shows a big gaping hole in classical electromagnetic theory. So this is a pretty standard college physics homework problem. We're going to calculate the force between two electric charges. First, when they're at rest, like this, you have one charge here, call it Q, another charge here, call it Q, separated by some distance, call it R. So we're going to solve this problem, and then we're going to solve the same problem, but this time with the two charges moving at some constant speed away from us, like this. So here the two charges are sitting, same distance of separation, but now they're moving. In the first case, since they're like charges, they push each other away with a force like this. Force goes as the product of the two charges, but since they're the same, it's Q squared divided by some constant you don't need to worry about times 1 over the distance of separation squared. That just means that the farther apart they are, the weaker the force between them. Now in the second case, we solve this problem and we get an extra term. So we get that same bit, Q squared over 4 pi epsilon naught r squared, but now there's an extra piece. It's 1 minus the square of the speed that the charges are moving divided by the speed of light squared. So the main point is that the forces are not the same. Something is wrong. And in fact, the old pre-Einstein theory predicts something that doesn't make any sense. The old theory says that the force gets smaller as the speed gets larger. As V gets larger, this thing gets smaller. You got one minus some number. So the whole thing is multiplied by a number smaller than one. But as the speed of the two charges reaches the speed of light, the force goes to zero, right? When V is equal to C, this piece is one, this thing is zero, the force goes to zero. And it gets weirder. If the speed of the two charges gets bigger than the speed of light, then this is larger than one. And then the force switches from being repulsive to being attractive because you get an extra minus sign. Now this is just one problem with classical electrodynamics. The old theory. There are lots of contradictions and they are what motivated Einstein to come up with the special theory of relativity. And then general relativity came about when he started thinking about gravity. Of course, Einstein wasn't alone in all of this. It's not like he intuited relativity out of the mist or something. It took a lot of work from lots of people to put him in position for his intellect to take that big step. So what's the right answer? Well, we'll leave that as an exercise for Professor Buckley, and I bet he could figure it out. It's not too hard. Thank you very much. My name is Ransom Stevens. I appreciate your time.